of fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, Breeding for Profit, the series number two. I know, I know I said I would do an update every month, but there really wasn't much to update. So it's every four months, what can I say? Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage and a calculator and stand by. Alright fishy folks, so in my last video I talked to you about uh, how much it costs to set up that breeding for profit tank and unfortunately I was off by a little bit. So um, the bluegrass guppies that I got were 30 bucks, tank was 20, the filter from aquarium co-op 8, airline from aquarium co-op 7, air pump from aquarium co-op 9, uh, links down below for you. Um, and here's where I screwed up. The meds I said were like 12 bucks for the three and I don't know what I was thinking. Apparently I wasn't thinking because it's about 50 bucks, uh, like $49 or something for the three meds that uh, Corey from Aquarium Co-op recommends. I use slightly different meds, uh, mostly the same, just different names, but whatever. Uh, and then food, Java Moss, the total turned out to be about 160. I think I said 111 in the last video. And one of the things I said I was going to tell you is what does it cost uh, water-wise to change the water. Now, I don't know how water is billed in your city or state or town or whichever it comes from, but I get a certain amount of water for free, and we usually fall within that or maybe the next range um, of of gallons. So water costs me about 14 cents per 20 gallons. And the reason I, I, I broke it down by 20 gallons is because it's a 20 gallon tank. So we can just do the math easily if we have to. But regardless, there is some, some cost with water and electricity for that matter, but really not that much. It's not like you're running a whole fish room changing, you know, 60 gallons a day like I change. So whatever. See, it's a little more than 60 gallons, but whatever. So, uh, I keep looking over there because that's where the tank is, and I want to show you. I have some underwater footage, 4K underwater footage for you that we're going to watch while I talk. And uh, there was a, a plethora of babies. We got some red grass out of the blue grass, so then we're going to split the strains, and you'll see. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go grab the footage and talk about uh, the tank. All right, fishy folks, we're here in this 20 gallon breeding for profit tank. Now in the setup that I had shown you in the last video it was a 20 long. This is a 20 high. This is just what fits mostly in my system. As you know, I did change my top tanks to 20 longs from tens, but that's a whole nother story. Anyway, uh, this tank started with three trios of bluegrass guppies. I think I lost one of the males fairly early uh, sometimes that happens with guppies and uh, but you can see the all the fry it looks like there's probably three separate drops if not more um, typically what I find with most fish is if there's a female that uh, is pregnant or or drops fry um, other females in the tank will drop fry very close after that so I don't I don't know if that's a scientific thing or that's just my own personal findings but that's that's what i find so this tank again is just a basic setup it has a sponge filter um, this was the filter that was in the tank this is one of the tanks i haven't gotten around to changing the filter from this style to the aquarium co-op filters oh look at that male that guy is sexy anyway um and then of course a poop ton of java moss and lots of mom. I leave the mom in the tanks because it's a good place that the fry can eat. Uh, a smorgasbord, a plethora of yummy goodness for them. And uh, because of my auto water change system, the mom doesn't really cause any nitrate issues. In addition, this Java moss is <laughs> sucking it all up. So um, uh, the, the water parameters in this tank are, are probably something like 005 or 10, uh, moderate hardness, pH of uh, between 7 and 7.2. So, um, And you can see there are some, I think there's two male red grass guppies, probably from the first drop of bluegrass that I put in here. Um, 
that are pretty much grown up now. And what happens with blue guppies especially is red is a dominant color and it pairs with blue quite frequently in, in guppydom, if you know what I'm saying. And so if you want a, a strictly blue line, especially blue grass guppies, you need to cull um, quite frequently and be very diligent with it. Uh, because if one of those red grass males, you know what, with the, the female, did you see that female? Did you see the dorsal on that female? That was sexy. Um, you're going to get more red grass. Uh, and if you don't want that, then you're going to have a problem. Personally, I don't really care because I will take the red grass guppies and separate it into its own strain eventually. And then I'll have two strains from one. And that's how you make some profit. Now, uh, this tank gets the food that the rest of my fish room gets when I feed brine shrimp. They get baby brine shrimp. Uh, when I feed um, regular flake food, that's what they get. If uh, I am feeding special food for fry, like cobalt smartemia or the, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The ocean nutrition frozen cyclops, freeze-dried cyclops. Uh, I will add it to this tank, but I don't typically feed this tank anything special compared to any other tank. And you can see the growth as, as well as all this fry. Um, so essentially we're into this tank for about 160 bucks. Um, I would probably sell these pairs anywhere from 20 to $30, uh, which means that I have to sell at a minimum eight pairs to make my money back. There's probably going to be 20 pairs out of whatever we see here of sellable fish. Now, um, you may say to yourself, but Mike, there's, there's probably 100 fry in there. Y yeah, but they're not all going to be ready at the same time. And they're not all going to be sellable. They're not going to be a really nice guppy. And that's how I get mutts. So instead of, oh, hey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, instead of selling a pair of red grass for, say, $20, uh, I would take that guppy that's not perfect and put it in the mutt tank and sell it for about $5. So that's just how it works. All right, fishy folks. I hope you enjoyed this breeding for profit update. And uh, I'll come back in a month or two or three and, and we'll do this again. Hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. fishy folks and welcome back to another video by Michael from Michael's Fish Room. That's me. That is so stupid.